Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with Drunken Muscles. That's right, I like my shellfish like I like my sailors. And this is one of the easiest shellfish recipes ever. And once you have your ingredients together, this thing takes about 10 minutes start to finish. So here's how you do it. The first and most important ingredient, of course, is the mussels. These are from Prince Edward Island. You'll see them in the seafood case, it'll say P-E-I. They should be incredibly fresh. They need to be scrubbed really well and rinsed off. And if you see any of those little beards attached, pull it off. Mine really didn't have any. Mine were pretty clean. And as far as portioning, I usually go with like about a pound of mussels per person. All right? So our mussels are set. On to the rest of the ingredients. So I'm going to need you to mince up some garlic. You can use regular garlic, but you know what? I found some green garlic in the market, and I decided to use that. So just like using green onions, I'm pretty much going to use the white and light parts. And I'm going to mince it up nice and fine. And again, don't feel bad if you don't find green garlic. Regular garlic works extraordinarily well and is incredibly delicious, so don't even worry about it, okay? This is one of those recipes that's super easy, but you need to get all your ingredients prepped ahead of time, which is called, of course, mise en place, okay? So our garlic's ready. We're going to set that aside. Next, we're going to do some Italian parsley. And you know my method for this. You hold the stems, you hold your knife, a sharp knife, at a 45-degree angle, and you just shave off all the leaves. So easy. Do not pick parsley leaves off the stems. It takes too long. All right. And once we've done that, we just give it a chop. Not too fine. All right. Something like that. And other than a little bit of lemon zest and red pepper flakes, that's about it. All right. So we're going to head over to the stove where you need a stock pot like this with a tight fitting lid. All right. Very, very important. So make sure you have that before you even think of starting this recipe. We're going to throw in a chunk of butter. I'm going to put that on medium heat. And once it melts, we're going to add our garlic. We're going to give that about a 30 second sizzle. After which I'm going to add my red pepper flakes. I like this a little bit spicy, but you know I like most things a little bit spicy. So I'm going to add a big pinch of those. Give that about 15 seconds in the butter. At that point I'm going to add my lemon zest. I used a zester to get those nice thin strands. You could also grate it on the microplane. You've seen us do both many times. So the lemon zest goes in. You give that about 30 seconds and then quickly pour in your wine. Okay, the wine stops the cooking. We do not want to burn or brown the garlic. So that whole process of sauteing the garlic, the pepper, and the lemon zest only took about a minute. Once the wine's in, I give it a few turns of freshly ground black pepper. You generally don't need salt. The mussels have enough natural salts, so be careful when seasoning. And at that point, our drunken mussel broth is ready. We're going to place on the lid. We're going to turn the heat to high, and we're going to bring this to a boil. As soon as it boils, you're going to quickly throw in your mussels. Don't throw any of the ice in. If you had them sitting in water or something like that, you want to drain it. You just want the mussels. You're going to quickly place the lid back on. And by the way, I'm so glad I wore a shirt for this video. Generally, I cook topless. All right, so the lid's on. We're going to give the pot the old shake a shake and let it sit there undisturbed for exactly one minute. After one minute, remove the lid, take a spoon, and give it a quick stir, just like that, a couple turns. Place the lid back on and wait two minutes, after which you should be getting close. You're going to see lots of the shells opening. In fact, back right, you can actually see it opening. So cool. At that point, we're going to dump in our Italian parsley, give it another stir, put the lid back on, and as soon as those shells are open, you're done. It might take another minute. It might take another two minutes. It could take possibly one and a half minutes or three minutes. The point is, who knows? Go by sight. When it looks like they're all open, you're done. All right, the shell should be open like that. The muscles should still be huge and plump and gorgeous and not shriveled and pathetic. All right, the only way to screw this recipe up is to keep boiling these after they open. And of course, if there's a couple that don't open, that's not so unusual. Just throw those away and deal with the good ones. Okay, to serve, you're going to want to transfer those into a big wide bowl. Of course, you're going to ladle over copious amounts of that amazing drunken muscle broth. I highly suggest you serve it with some lemon and some grilled bread. Of course, if you're having grill problems, I feel bad for you, son, but you could just use a toaster instead. And that's it. Drunken mussels. How fast and easy was that? And of course, drunken mussels is just a generic term for mussels steamed in any kind of alcoholic beverage. I've done this with beer, with things like sherry. Of course, you don't have to use alcohol. You could use some clam juice or just some water. Is it as good? Of course not. Not even close. All right, so let me dig in here. I'm going to take my freakishly small metal fork and dip that mussel in that amazing broth. Garlicky, spicy, lemony. Just unbelievable. And while dipping the mussel in that broth is pretty awesome, nothing compares to how awesome dipping the bread in there is. It's just spectacular. 
And if you're feeling extra sexy, I like to place it on the bread and drizzle some of that buttery, garlicky wine broth over. It's just a very special experience that I hope you experience especially. So head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.